Back to our Google Analytics uh, sample data set. Let's start diving into some of the BigQuery functions that can you can start to make uh, some simple mathematical magic happen uh, with BigQuery functions. Um, these are some of my favorites and they're called window functions. And they basically let you calculate sums or averages or do all kinds of math functions on separate windows within a table at one time. And this is not a necessarily unique concept to BigQuery. Um, BigQuery just has a great implementation of it. So let's say that we're running this query where we're grouping page views uh, by channel. Um, so we're getting page views across channels. And let's just run this quickly to take a look at this data set. Oh, have a comma there. Okay, so we have page views by channel and let's order by uh, page views descending. So we have our largest first. Okay, cool, organic search. So what if we wanted to calculate the percentage of page views? So let's calculate the percentage of page views for each of these channels. Um, so we can get a sense of what our kind of concentrations are here. Um, so the first thing to note is if you want to run window functions, um, you should do other aggregations. So say we're, we're getting our total page views by, by um, channel. You should do those separately just to keep your aggregations cons uh, consistent because if you, if you play around with merging window functions and separate aggregations, you'll find it, it can throw some errors and just be tricky to sort out. So instead, I'd, I'd recommend either nesting or defining your tables separately with a width uh, parameter, which I went through in another video. Um, so we're just going to say we're basically going to nest our function, our queries here and wrap another query around these results. Um, so we're just going to group by channel on the data set and get our page views by channel. Let's also add date in here um, just for fun. Even though we have one date, it's just good practice. Um, so let's say date, we want to select date, channel grouping, page views, and then we want the total um, page views over the sum of page views um, of total page views. So let's just get the total page views first in the window. And I, so you can see what, what actually this window function does is you can basically type sum of some metric and this, you know, I'll, I'll link to the list of, of functions that are supported, but you could pull max or average and we'll go through a few of them there's a bunch of bunch of different math, math functions that you could run sum of page views over partition by date so this basically partition by is basically like grouping so i want to say for each date calculate the total page views so basically if you're leaving something out of the partition that means you're ignoring it so we don't care about the channel group we want to just aggregate all of them um, and let's say total page views let's just pull that so you can see what this does is it in each individual row, it gives us the total and it's the same across the entire window, right? Um, it, it won't change based on uh, since the dates are all the same, it's popular and we're partitioning by date. This value will be the same for each date. If we partition by channel grouping um, and then and date, then it would just basically show the page views would equal the total page views because we're partitioning at a level of granularity that we don't need. So instead, we're just going to partition by date and we're going to pull the, the total page views. What if we wanted the average page views? Um, we could do the same thing and say, okay, here's just here's the average on the same partition. And that's the average across all, ch all uh, channels. Um, and if you're using the same window, this is called the window. Um, this in between the parentheses here, the partition by, you also might have an order by, um, which we'll, we'll go through in another video, but we won't need those for these just aggregate math functions. Um, but if you're using the same window twice, you can define it after, at the end of your query and just say window W1 as, and you could pluck this out, this partition by, and define it here, and then you can reference it multiple times. Um, and you can say over 
W1 so that you don't have to keep typing out the same window. And if you change your window, you can just change it once rather than twice. Um, and similarly, if these were separate windows, right, you could just list comma separated a bunch of windows at the bottom. So oftentimes, if for example, I'm calculating like uh, totals across months and then across years, you know, you'll have one window partitioned by the month, one window partitioned by the year, and you can sum up a, you know, total for the year and a total for the month within the same query. So that's really helpful when building reports that have, uh, you know, period over period comparisons. Um, but for sake of this query, we're just calculating the total and the average. Uh, we don't need to do that. Um, let's also do one thing. Let's blend our page. Let's get our percentage of page views for the page, um, which is what we were really after. So what we can do is basically calculate our page views to kind of blend these metrics to calculate page views over the window function that got the total page views and we'll call this percent of page views. Cool. So we can see and let's order this by percent of page views. And remember that the window function, the window definition, if you're going to use that always goes at the end of the function. Um, hmm, does it? No, I guess order by would go after the window. Cool, learn something new every day. Um, cool, so if we look at this, we'll see that organic search is 43% of page views, referral is 30, and then on down from there. So it's a pretty concentrated um, concentrated traffic here. So that's you know kind of an intro to window functions. Again, they're really helpful for looking at totals over you know time when you're trying to compare you know, what a percentage of or a, you know, difference from the average, for example, if we wanted, like, is this, is organic search above or below the average page views, then we could do some math on the average for, from within the same query. So these really make life easier, especially if you're looking at basically building reports, right, looking at uh, a different date range um, to compare, but within the same view. So I hope that helps. We're going to move on now to um, a little bit more complex of window functions and uh, some other use cases in BigQuery.